because there's votes in the Senate. I also want to thank Secretary of Health and Human Services Javier Becerra for two things. One, for answering my call and asking him to come and be the secretary. <laughs> I was worried he wouldn't. And, uh, and how much he's helped us make so much progress in getting people vaccinated, getting health insurance, and making uh, it more affordable health care. The shocking news is here for everybody to hear. Republicans in the House have already voted on a bill that will affect the low income. Congress is debating on expanding new tax credit to make it permanent. It can meet automatic recurring relief checks every month. So be sure to keep on watching this video if you want to receive that stimulus. Because right now, last night the House Republicans voted to slash funding for the IRS following a pledge from Kevin McCarthy to repeal the money approved by Congress last year. In passing along party lines, the bill would resent tens of billions of dollars allocated to the agency over the next decade through the Inflation Reduction Act passed in August. The measure doesn't even have support to pass the Democratic-controlled Senate, and the White House opposed the bill in an official statement. The bill comes less than two weeks after Democratic members of the House and Ways released uh, six years of the former president's tax returns. It angered some Republicans, and known as the Family and Small Business Taxpayer Protection Act, the new House Republican measure would increase the budget deficit by more than $114 billion through 2032. Jenny Allen has already outlined priorities for the new IRS funding, including plans to clear the backlog of any unprocessed tax returns, improve the customer service, and overall technology, and hire more workers. However, the House Republican bill underscores the party's continued pushback against Joe Biden's agenda, including more funding for the IRS. The agency is expected to deliver the funding plan in February, per Jenny Allen's request. So, now that this happened, the agency is always preparing for a new commissioner, expected to be persons who serve under Biden and Obama, and also under the Bush administration. So recently, the IRS issued around 12 million tax refunds to Americans who paid too much in taxes on unemployment benefits that they received the first year of the crisis. Now, the agency already corrected 14 million 2020 tax returns related to unemployment compensation. It resulted in $14.8 billion in refunds that averaged around 1200 bucks each. And the IRS started correcting the returns in May, but the IRS also announced the California storm victims now have until the end of May 15th to even do something about this in order to get that stimulus money that people will desperately need. And here's what I mean by this. Democrats have been trying to expand the trial tax credit and make it as permanent as possible. However, it was scrapped from the Inflation Reduction Act bill. In 2023, $1.7 trillion omnibus spending bill showed that anything is possible in Congress, especially if they come together to do something right for the people. So folks, the decision to expand the credit has been kept around for 4 million children and kept people out of poverty, helped around 65 million total people. It was enhanced by the American Rescue Plan from 2,000 to 3,000 for a child, per child 3,000 for six and even more. But families can now receive a return equal to 15% of earnings above 2,500 bucks of a maximum dollars per people. However, families must have at least $2,500 in earned income to qualify for any portion of the credit, and the refundable part will just rise another $1,600. So it's important to remember this year, the child tax credit can only be claimed when a taxpayer payer is filing their tax return instead of receiving the full refundable payments, which is what happened during this time. Democrats have been pitching a deal on the child tax credit in exchange for credits and favored by big businesses, including write-offs for research and developments as well as interest payments. While there's pressure on Democrats to get something done, advocacy groups say um, nothing's really happening yet. So hopefully Joe Biden can do something about this and fix this problem. The drug or the research that went into them. Let me regress for just a moment here. I started when in the... In the uh, Obama and Biden administration, a effort to deal with uh, the cancer moonshot, to change the way in which we deal with cancer. And I'm reinstituting that in my administration now. And it was interesting. I met, we had these hearings all over the United States. And one of the major events we did, we used at Howard University, where there were 35 other events going on simultaneously with this. I subsequently met with the heads of, I think it was 13 drug companies. And I asked them, I said, if you found a cure for a particular cancer, how much you think you should be able to charge? And the response universally was, what the market will bear. I said, hope I don't get elected president. Because that's just not what you'll get. You should be treated more like a utility. You should be able to make a significant progress. Let's add up how much, and like they do in Germany, 
How much did it cost you, all the research and development, all the effort? Add it all up. And then on top of that, add a significant premium for it, a profit of 20 to 30 percent above that, maybe in some cases more. But the idea, the idea you can charge whatever you want is just not going to happen in the United States of America if I have anything to do with it. Even if you think this doesn't affect you, it does. So yes, everybody, President Biden definitely should do more for the American people and send us stimulus checks. If you guys agree with me, tell me in the comments down below. Do you think that President Biden will send out stimulus payments before the end of the year? So we're, we're here today to talk about um, what everybody's talking about, and that is record high gas prices. And whether you're here in Washington, D.C., or whether you are, are up north in Alaska, everyone, everyone is seeing the impact for nine days now, we have seen the national average of our gas prices above the highest ever levels. We have a ton of good news about the Ford stimulus check, Social Security benefits, SSI, and SSDI. Continue watching this video because you don't want to miss out on this. State governments want to allocate unused crisis relief money towards a new stimulus plan. This bill will provide Americans with a stimulus check worth up to $2,000. Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf is once again calling on state lawmakers to approve his plan to give the people of Pennsylvania a check using federal crisis relief dollars. Governor Wolf says he wants to use $500 million of the $2.2 billion of unspent federal crisis money to give people in Pennsylvania a one-time state stimulus check of up to two grand. But the former president and President Biden got congressional approval for their federal stimulus checks. So far, the Wolf State Stimulus Plan has had a good reception from the public. Now, if the legislature passes the bill, checks would come from the Pennsylvania Treasury and not be taxed as income. Wolf's $1.7 billion proposal includes $225 million in support for small businesses, $325 million for the state's health care system, $204 million for direct property tax relief. In other words, the stimulus money will go back to the local economy. There are some Republicans that oppose the relief. Some Republicans are slow to get on board. The state treasurer leaves decisions regarding specific budget proposals to the General Assembly and has urged lawmakers to look further down the road in 2026 as they consider spending plans. That's the year when the Independent Fiscal Year, when the Independent Fiscal Office projects the state will have a $1.4 billion deficit. Also, everybody, here is some breaking news. A leading House Democrat just called on President Biden to replace the IRS commissioner. The representative Bill Pascrell of New Jersey is the chair of the Oversight Committee of the House of Ways Committee. The call to fire Chuck Reddick came after the Treasury Department's Inspector General for Tax Administration released the findings of an audit. The audit revealed that the IRS has continued to have a significant backlog of paper filed individual returns that remain unprocessed. 